Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome to my channel. I have gotten a few requests to do a makeup tutorial and this is my first one so I hope you guys enjoy it. So I started off with already having foundation and my eyebrows done so I'm going to go right into it with um, a cream shadow from Missy Lynn's palette and I'm going to take that under my bra line. Next, I'm just going to take some um, paint pot that I got from MAC and it's basically like a primer for your eyelid um, to make sure that the colors pop when you put it on there. So I'm going to go in with the crease color and it's like an orange brownish type of color. Um, I pack that on pretty, pretty heavily uh, but I also make sure that I go in and I blend it out so that way there are no harsh lines from transitioning from the brow line to the crease. So once you have that nice and blended the way you want it, we're going to go in with the Arctic Blue but first we're going to use the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray and I put that on my brush before I actually use the color because it just makes the eyeshadow wet and it makes it adhere to uh, my eyelid better so it makes it, you know, pop. You need that popping going on. So I pack that on nicely and then I take my clean blending brush and I blend those harsh lines. Okay so now I'm going to go in with the um, Delete from the same Urban Decay Vice palette and I'm just going to take that on my outer lid and blend that into my brow line. Um, I don't do too much but I just wanted to smoke it out a little bit so uh, that's what that Delete color should do. Alright, moving on to the Highlight and Contour. This is one of my favorite concealers um, by MAC. It goes on so smooth um, and it blends perfectly when you use the beauty, the damp beauty blender. Um, so I use this color and I also use the Maybelline Age Instant Age Rewind Concealer as well and I mix it together just to give me that perfect shade that I like. So this is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser that I use, but I only do a few dots because this is in the color light and you don't want it to be too bright, so I just do a little bit to get that perfect shade. So now you just blend, blend, blend. And um, just the tip that I use, I make sure that my beauty blender is damp. Like I never go in with a dry beauty blender. I make sure that's damp and it just allows the concealer to, you know, really set into your skin and just gives it a smooth transition across your face. Alright, next we're going to go in with the almighty Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder, one of my favorites. And I just go in and bake that concealer into my skin and then I use the Bare Minerals by Matte and I actually go in and enhance my cheekbones and enhance my nose, give my nose like a little button Michael Jackson nose um, and I just take that around my edges as well, the edges of my forehead just to uh, warm up my face a bit and so that's what that shade does for me. So next I'm going to take my MAC Skin Finish and I'm just going to dust that over my brush and actually dust the setting powder away. And then I use my Shade and Light Contour Palette from Kat Von D and I actually, you know, go into the contour lines and I smooth that out. And just to warm up my face, I use that Sombre color from that contour palette to go all over my face and warm it up. So now I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier powder and I'm just going to take that under my cheekbone to clean it up a bit. Once I do that, I move on to the liner um, and this Kat Von D ink liner, it's the best that I've used so far as far as the liquid liner goes. I love this stuff. Nice. 
All right, so next I move on to underneath my eyelid and then my waterline. I just add that same color delete that I added on the outside of my lid. I add that underneath my eye just to match it up and smoke out my eye. Then I go in with my clean brush and I dust away the Laura Mercier powder. And so I take the Sweet Blush by MAC, Sweet Cocoa, I mean, by MAC, and I just um, blush up my cheeks. It gives it like a nice warm bronze type of color. I really don't like pink blush, so that's why I do the, the bronzer, just to warm up my face a bit. So now we're going to add my favorite 3D Mink Lashes by Lily Lashes. This style is in my Konos. Then we're going to move on to my second fave is the Becca Highlighter. Alright, the highlighter by Becca is the most beautiful highlighter. Um, so I just packed that on probably too much more than what I actually needed. But I go back in with my beauty blender and I just, you know, blend it into my skin so it actually like sits there and accumulate so when the sun hits my face just right like you just see the highlighter just pop off my face and to finish up this look we're gonna finish it up with Kat Von D's liquid matte in Vampira and we're all done thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe bye